Nice, thank you, Sena. All right, so hello, everyone. Woo, nice. This was a little bit fuller for the opening, I reckon. Mm. I'm still very happy to have all of you here. But, well, this is the closing session of EuroPython 2024. That was so weak, come on. I want to hear your sadness, come on. Perfect, yes. I mean, yeah. That is much better, thank you. <laughs> yeah, you are Italian, I am asking you to cry, so that was a really good way to cry, thank you. Uh, cool, so this is what happened on this entire week that you spent with us. We, had a, we have here a few snippets. We have Mr. Police Officer over there on the right, right left corner smiling. And we have Mrs. Bossy over there telling someone to do something. Um, we have mentors. We have social event and happiness and drinking. We have Python cookies. Who here got a Python cookie? <laughs> awesome. Were they good? Did you like them? Yes? Did you enjoy them? How was the feeling of having a cookie right after you prepared so much to give a talk? Did you like it? Yeah, I see love hearts everywhere, so I'm very happy about this. Cool. Oh, and we also had Mr. Green Mask um, that shows up now apparently every year. We quite like you, so please a round of applause for Mr. Green Mask as well. Very good. Very good. Cool. So before anything, a couple of announcements. Uh, if you are a volunteer, an organizer, um, please do redeem your tickets for the boat ride. We would like you to do that now. Please take your phones out. If you don't, if you haven't retrieved them yet, please do it so now. Uh, it will happen in around two hours. Uh, we need to confirm the numbers. And then we need to make sure that the people who would like to go, maybe there's some other people who would like to go if we have some remaining seats, um, also have, you know, a place to go. So please do confirm as soon as possible, right now. And Sprint Weekend. Well, I'm not going to spend too much time here. The most important thing to know is that you're going to go to that address over there, uh, the Prague University Economic uh, Prague University of Economics and Basic Business. I'm sorry, my English is not Englishing today. Um, if you have any, well, you were here for the sprint session. Rodrigo said everything you needed to know. All this, the presenters were here, so I guess you got the gist. If you didn't, there's more information on the website. Please, self-serve. And then I would like a special round of applause for our sponsors now, please, because <laughs> This would not be possible without them. So thank you so much. Uh, special shout out to the Python Software Foundation for the diversity and inclusion sponsorship this year. Thank you. We have our child care. We brought loads of Python organizers to Euro Python this year from different parts of the world to be able to be here with us and enjoy the party. So thank you. Thank you, Bloomberg, for your consistent support to Euro Python. Thank you, Microsoft, as well, for being a long-time sponsor. And thank you, Pydantic, for being here for the first time as a sponsor. And, well, sponsorship from open source tastes different, you know? It's the power of Python people. So please, a round of applause also for Pydantic. Thank you. Then I would like to call Chuck to come and share with us a little bit more about the Code of Conduct. Come on, people. Yeah, so I know you're tired, and um, actually I, I know that like, if it's not your first time to Europe Python, you may expect that I will tell you what happened during the week, but we are not over yet. We still have the spring day, so what I'll tell you now is that we, just like what Naomi said in the opening, we welcome your report. If you have anything that you want to report, we are always there for you. Uh, I will still be at the sprint tomorrow. Naomi will be there tomorrow. Um, Sunday, I'll be there half day. But you know, you're always welcome to report. And once uh, everything is over, 
we would uh, give a transparency report and it will be pub published and um, that would be, you know, um, you, 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 you can get a chance to see what's happening um, for the Code of Conduct during um, EuroPython this year. So, um, thank you. Perfect. So, a little bit of the breakdown on the numbers for this year. We had 1,417 tickets sold. We had 1,245 on-site on people, yes. 30% uh, of those was first-time participants. We're very happy to have you here. Uh, and we had 5,000 plus views on YouTube. Um, thank you. And then you can see the breakdown by country, uh, but locals being the first nationality around, uh, then Germany, and then Great Britain. Uh, fun fact, same nationality rank as last year. <laughs> Rings repeat, you know? Hmm. Cool. So, talks and tutorials, we had a record proposals, of, a record of number of proposals submitted this year, 665 submitted proposals and 172 sessions. Uh, out of those, 170 speakers and 31% from underrepresented backgrounds. Thank you. And also please, a huge thank you to the program team for selecting an incredible schedule and putting out together, yes, thank you, Christian, for co-leading that, and thank you all the program team also for putting together an incredible schedule, um, selecting the best talks. Also, 4,218 individual reviews. That's what it took to select the schedule that you saw. So, it was a lot of work, and we're very happy, very, very, very happy that was a success. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm calling it a success because I feel it, you know, so. And my favorite, uh, I am particularly proud of this one. We had the privilege to be able to host an entire day of PyLadies events this year. Yes, 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 yes. We love PyLadies, we love PyLadies. Um, we know how important PyLadies is. I don't know if you know this, but I learned with Carol Wheeling that 6% of open source contributions are made by non-male contributors, 6%. So, you know, bye ladies. So, again, bye ladies. <laughs> I would like to thank Modernisso Per Soprano, I'm sorry, I butchered it, I'm really sorry, um, for the self-defense workshop. Thank you also to Mia for organizing it. Uh, thank you to Lola uh, for hosting I Am Remarkable. Big thanks also to Martina and Anishka for putting it together, organizing it and making sure that got across the finish line. Uh, we had also a Wednesday social event um, at this lovely pub that is super traditional of Europe, and I cannot pronounce it, and I'm really sorry. Also, again, thanks to Mia for organizing it. And last but not least, we had around 120 Pi Ladies and Allies at the Pi Ladies Lunch. We had an incredible success sharing session. We had Anwesha also hosting the success sharing session. And well, there were a lot of tears of happiness. There was a lot of love shared. And I would also like to thank Crack and Tech for sponsoring, for, make this, for making this possible. So thank you. <laughs> this was the coziness of the social event of the Pi Ladies. If you didn't get to go, you really missed out. Cool. Oh, this is long. Wow. So, 70 hours of talks, 48 hours of tutorials, 16 hours of open workshops, 16 hours of summits, and countless interactions on the highway track. I could not be prouder of each and every single one of you. Thank you so much for being here. So yes, a round of applause for you. And then financial aid, we had 32 in-person tickets, 63 remote tickets being funded by financial aid, 
40 night travel and accommodation grants from all those different places in a total of almost 24,000 euros of financial aid. Yes, yes, we're also incredibly proud of it. So, thank you. Ooh. Oh, yes, and thank you to the PSF. We're able to get childcare. Um, these are the pictures from the setup for the childcare. We had two rooms. I think we had 10 plus kids. I do not remember how many at the last, at the end of the day. But I do know it was a success, and I was very happy to see the kids also having loads of fun, and the nannies, and all the interaction, and all the livelihood that the kids brought to this conference, and how much it changed the vibes as well. So I'm very happy about this too. And thank you again to our sponsors. Very good. It takes a lot of work to put all of this together. Um, so this is the list of the people that have been working tirelessly to make sure that this happens for a month, two months, three months, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine months, sometimes even more. Some of them contributed with an hour per week, some of them contributed with 60, 100 hours per week, depending on how close to the conference this gets. Um, so I also would like to thank each and every single one of you, you, know, you know who you hear, um, for putting EuroPython together and for making EuroPython what it is. So thank you so much. We had 59 on-site volunteers, 460 hours, seven remote volunteers, and 73 remote hours. These are the names of the lovely people wearing wet yellow t-shirts that you saw everywhere around. I hope you said loads of thank you to them because they're incredible and I could not be prouder of, having, of being able to work in a team with you. Really, really very happy. So please. And no, now it's a time when you keep clapping because I'm asking all the organizers, all the volunteers, and to come to the stage with me. So please come, start coming. Yes, yes, indeed. Thank you to our speakers. Thank you to our tutors. Thank you to our sponsors. Thank you to Gonzo for making it possible to have a remote Hero Python for live streaming. Thank you to the PCC for having us here. Come on, come on, let's keep clapping. Come on, come on, come on. I don't have a verse anymore. And to everyone else who contributed. Woohoo! We made it! Also, let's welcome our remote volunteers. Um, I want to say a special thank you to the person who helped put the opening and the closing slides. And it's a building block of Euro Python. Jody Bircho, everyone, please. <laughs> Woo -hoo! And that's it. Goodbye, Euro Pythoneers. See you at 2025.